Hey guys, welcome to my Wednesday live. I put down that I was gonna be running just a little late. I actually scheduled this for 10, 10 and I am six minutes early. That's how quick I am. So uh, quite a few of you guys are jumping on. Um, definitely say hello and let me know in the comments where you're watching from. I always like to know that. And if you guys are watching the replay, definitely put hashtag replay. Um, I want to just recap our Monday live and how that went. Uh, so on Monday, we learned how to play around with the rust from Dixie Bell. And I'm going to show, oh my gosh, now it's stuck. I am going to show you how it all transformed. So you guys can see it does have rust on it. Um, I am really loving how this turned out uh, a lot. Um, and I think I'm going to let it keep rusting and then I'll seal it eventually. But I'm going to let it kind of do its thing. And it is definitely corroding and creating like a really cool rust effect. I like that. I also think if I do it again, which I will because I have it. I am going to let it kind of go, like I was trying to be really good um, staying in the lines, and I think I'm going to let it go outside the lines a little bit like I did and just kind of lightly touch it because in those areas, it looks, that was the look I was going for where like the rust was kind of bleeding down. So that looks really, really awesome. Um, this is actually one of my favorites. Uh, in the live, everybody was asking about if I was going to do these. Absolutely. Um, I have to go back. But for time's sake, I only did um, the actual um, the ones around. So that was this bucket. I love it. Um, hello. Hello. <coughs> <coughs> oh, wow. So that was this bucket. Um, and I'm just going to give you a recap of the others. Here's the little one. That one turned out really, really stinking cute too. And then this one, um, I'm thinking because I, I, it's so thin, I'm going to redo it. I think, cause the bottom one doesn't seem like it rusted as much as the top one. So we're going to maybe do a redo. So those are the buckets. Okay. Um, today we are going to make some spring decor, you guys. Uh, so one thing that I've been wanting to do for quite some time is I have been wanting to make, take these little, okay, so this is called Hidden Hollow. And in my yard, okay, so I'm a gardener and I have like all like different things out in the yard, like garden art. I have been wanting to add little fairy doors to some of my trees and just have them like kind of hidden. There's a couple of the trees where like some limbs were cut and there's like a spot where it will be perfect. And I thought, would it not be cool to include some fairy doors out there? The other thing too, I was thinking was I thought it would be really cool to have um, some of these as well. And uh, some of the toadstools, I should say. <laughs> Some of these, some toadstools. So, what do you guys think? I let me know what you're thinking so far, and let's see who's all on. I have quite a few of you. Hello, hello, everyone. Uh, Kathy, Beth, hello, Susan, Marty, Ruth, Kelly, Carol. Oh, Shelly, hello, hello. So, as you guys are jumping on, definitely say hello. Um, the last thing I, before we dive in to this, I want to show you a package. So if you guys missed my door, let's see if I can turn it. Oh, here. Um, I will have to turn it up there. <laughs> here, I was going to move this. But my door, if you guys missed that live, I redid my entire door. I used... Um, the, I created all different frames. We painted those. We painted it with uh, the cottage color Americana. And we used an old IOD um, uh, transfer. So somebody suggested that I get a glass doorknob, you guys. Lexi Grenzer, my friend Lexi, she sent me one. Oh, you guys, look. Is it not so beautiful? Oh I, oh, I don't want anything to happen to it. So she mentioned it came with something. 
Um, okay, so it's, it has these. Oh, these are so beautiful. And it has the mechanism that goes in the door. So that is something that I'm going to have to figure out how to put together and use on that door. But I'm very, very excited for it. So I am going to have to probably uh, Google it. <laughs> so I had to show you guys that because I was so excited to have received it. And thank you, Lexi. If you guys don't follow her, definitely head over to her page. She is crazy talented. Um, she deals with a lot of watercolors and she does a lot of the custom designs uh, for IOD and for Royce. So if you see those um, like Whispering Willow, she did that. Um, she also did like baby animals for Royce. So that's where um, you definitely have to follow her. So, all right, let's see here. Uh, we have, uh, Dippin' Daisies. We have Wilma. Hello. Hello, everyone. Um, so yes, we're going to do fairy doors and because they're going to be outside, you don't want to use, um, clay. So what we're going to be using is a ca the casting resin. And if you guys haven't used this, it is super, super easy. Um, the other thing I was thinking about is what I thought it'd be kind of cool to actually put, um, like some, like a piece of metal or something in here. Um, I thought about it at the last minute cause I thought it'd be even fun to have these like stuck around the very base of the trees in the ground. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about that. Let's see here. Love the doorknob. Those are the type of friends to have. I know, Carol, Lexi is so, so sweet. I was so excited uh, when she reached out to me um, about that. So some things that you'll want when you're using the resin, um, I should actually put the link for these. They are these little silicone cups, you guys. They are awesome. Uh, another IOD stockist recommended these. And if you ever buy the casting resin, it comes with these tiny little plastic cups. <laughs> Let me tell you, you can't mix very much. And you are you measured and then you dump it. And it's the cups you have to toss. The silicone cups are awesome. So I always uh, have some little popsicle sticks. I mix it with the popsicle sticks. I dump whatever I need. I put the popsicle stick back in there. And then once it all hardens, I just pull it out and I toss it and I can reuse this. So it works perfect. Uh, Kathy says she loves the silicone cups. Um, so yes, I do too. And I would highly recommend them. Uh, after we pour them, it does take about 10 minutes to set up and then, um, then we, I want to paint them. And so then that's where I have, you guys, I brought out all of my little testers for fusion and I thought it would be kind of fun to paint these. So let's go ahead. Um, we're going to pour and then I want to know what you guys think about, okay, a metal steak trying to think what I can use as a metal stake. Does anybody have any quick, fast ideas? Because I just thought of it as I was sitting here. Um, I was running a little late because guess what? I ordered the new Roy Cycled Papers uh, that it went live. So I was able to get that ordered. So you guys, that is coming real soon. I'm super excited. Um, what a great trick with the popsicle sticks. Yes, this is like super easy and it just pops right out. And then um, I always just wipe them out. But yes, that's exactly what I do. Um, metal coat hangers. Okay, I don't have a metal coat hanger. I'm trying to think what I have real quick. Um, so while I am thinking about that, we're going to set this one aside. Let's get these poured. Uh, another quick tip for you guys is the, the doors or all the molds, I should say. Next to each of the molds, there are these numbers. And like this one says 40 milliliters or 60 grams. This one says 37 milliliters or 55 grams. So basically, and now I'm going to have to do math really quick. Um, it, it, on the silicone cups, it tells you how many milliliters. So it's very cool. So like I know that I need 40 milliliters for here 
okay, so if I just say 40 and 47, that's 87, 87, 97, 107, oh wait, oh gosh, no. But yeah, so basically I'm gonna probably need like two pours. <laughs> Guys, oh, all right, let's see here. Corrine says, hi, Sonnet, awesome, beautiful, um, beautiful doorknob set. I was lucky enough to get a flat of antique doorknobs in Lancaster a few weeks ago at an auction. Ooh, that's awesome. Hello, Amanda. Okay, let's go ahead and get pouring. Um, and so what I am going to do, this goes all the way up to, a, um, I'm going to do, I think, 80. So let's see, 40. And okay, so the, it will do these two doors. So we'll do four, we'll do 80 right away. And then after we do the 80, then I'll come back and I'll do a second pour for this. And this is 47. And then we'll work on the toadstools. So let me start here. All right. And then as you guys are jumping on, definitely say hello. Hello. And then let me know. Um, and I just actually what I'm going to do. Um, oh, man. Oh, man. I thought I had my marker in here. I don't. I guess I'm going to have to just try to eyeball it, you guys, down here. Okay. So I the one thing or the key thing about these guys is you want it pretty accurate. So you want it to have be very flat. All right. So I did 40 of this one. And this is part A. So it's a 50-50 mixture. And then we're going to do 50, um, another part of B. All right. Let's see here. Let me go down, make sure I can see 80. All right. We got 80. Let's go ahead. I'm going to take my stick. And then I'm going to mix it very thoroughly. Um, that's the key is you want to get it all mixed up really good. Because um, if you don't have equal parts of 50-50 and you don't have it mixed good, what actually happens is your mold does not harden. Um, this does set up in approximately 10 minutes. So just so you do know. Just gonna set that there for now and we are gonna pour it so I'm pouring this one and put a little bit more in there okay that looks good this one has a lot of detail all right Let's see here, I think just a little bit more. I wanna get it all in that detail. So that is looking good. I have a little left. So I think what I'm going to do, we're gonna pour some of these. I hate wasting um, good, good resin, you guys. All right, and then I don't think I have an, let's see if we have enough for one more. Okay, hold on, do you think? It's dripping. This is gonna be a very tight squeeze. Probably. All right, I just want to Try to get as much out of here as I can for that mold. And then take the stick, set it back in, and there you have it. Let's do one more because I want to get this one. And then we're going to talk more about, um, I want to use the really big toadstools. So this one is 47. So we're going to need like 25 and 25. Okay. Let me quick do this. And then we're going to go from there. Oh, Melinda says she ordered some wire off of Amazon. So I think that I probably should have the wire in it. So maybe we'll just work on the doors possibly. Um, and then we'll go from there. Because I really want to do I want the toadstools. 
So um, maybe if I set it up here, I can see a little bit better. I just, there's like a glare with all these lights. <laughs> okay, let's see. There's 20. Okay, I'm going to do 25 milliliters. Uh, okay, that's about, well, I might have to do 30. That's about 25. All right. I try to make it as close as possible because it happened to me one time, and that's all it takes is one time for something to go awry. All right, and 50. So let me stir this up and then we'll get this last door. And if we have any extra, we'll put it over there as well. So you guys can see that it's starting to turn white. It takes roughly 10 minutes to set up. Um, do I have any cheap Dollar Tree garden things you can stick in the ground? You could use some of that. Okay. So you know what? That's actually a really good idea. Kelly had the idea about the um, cheap garden things from the Dollar Tree. I could actually pour it and then possibly um, add, I could glue it. Because that's what I plan on doing with the, I want to glue these on to my trees. This one's. Okay, just so want to add a little bit more there. All right, let me okay. And oh, I have enough for one little one. Huh? I don't think I have enough for well, let's see. Yeah, not enough. I shouldn't have did that one and I should have did that one, but that's okay. Oh, shoot. Okay. All right, guys. Okay. Um, so now it's going to set up and it, like I said, it takes roughly 10 minutes for it to set up. And I had a lot of you guys on, which is so cool. Thank you. Not everybody's chatting or saying hello, but um, I appreciate uh, you guys coming on. So there's going to be a little waiting game um, while we do that. But does anybody have any questions about the resin or about the molds? Um, if you use clay in the molds, um, you do want to use, uh, I always keep a little bit of cornstarch and I dust the molds with cornstarch. Um, so what do you guys think about me just casting them and then attaching them to something? I was kind of thinking I wanted to have like a steak. I don't think I can add anything once it is actually, um, once I cast them. These big ones though are so stinking cute. I love how they look. Let's see. Um, hello, Christy from Florida. Hello, adorable repurposal, repurposals uh, from North Carolina. You could make two moles and sandwich them in between. Okay, I could definitely do that. I could glue them. My thought was with this garden art that I'm creating today is I was thinking these would be so cute, like just around the base of some of the trees. Um, oh, <laughs> Oh gosh, Amanda said that, okay, so Amanda just joined my membership group that officially opened on March 1st, and she just said that she watched a couple replays yesterday after joining, and now she's really excited but super intimidated. Do not be intimidated. We are all super friendly, and we have a ton of fun, so do not worry. I am worried about this being so close to the edge there. Okay, let's chat about painting now. So my thoughts are, uh, because they are, they turn white, um, when, as you guys can see, they're turning white. I am thinking starting with a base coat that has a top coat built in. I love using DIY paint, but it just adds like an added step on here. And so I'm thinking if we start off with a dark color underneath and then, um, 
paint, like do like um, the paint over it? Or should we just start painting, go in and paint it? What do you think? Uh, Vicky says, hi, son. And I actually made it till alive. Yeah. Thanks. Um, oh, watch. Uh, okay. So here, this is awesome. Thank you, Ruth. Um, yes, everybody hit that, you know, button. Um, and if you guys are loving my content, let other people know about it too. That's how I am going to continue to grow and um, meet new people. I love meeting you guys. All right. So what are your thoughts? I think we should start off with a dark base. And then even at that point, once the base is dark, um, then do like a, um, almost like a whitewash with white and then have that black pop through a little bit and then start adding some colors. I was thinking I definitely want it to be like natural and I want some greens on the doors. I want some browns too. So I was thinking, so maybe I just start with that versus it has such great coverage. I don't think you need a base coat. Okay. I won't do a base. All right. Let's look at the colors. I have every single color that Fusion offers here. So I, um, I do carry all the products on my website and you guys can check that out. Um, it comes in the tester form or you can get it in the, uh, I guess the 16.9, I think, is it considered a, a liter or a pint? I don't know. Um, but this is the part that I don't like, the waiting. And it's only 10 minutes, but it seems like a lifetime, you guys. So let's look at the colors. Um, Melinda, you would, um, you can send me an email and I can give you the information on how to do that. Um, I'm working on some stuff on my website for the next round to make it very easy to sign up for my membership in the future. Uh, and yes, so, okay, so here's chocolate. I definitely want to use chocolate. I think that would be a good, um, base color. And um, just so you know, Melinda, my email is info at sonnetsgardenblooms.com. All right, we're going to use some Bayberry. I definitely think conservatory. Lichen is a good one. <coughs> I want to use some yellows because I saw that uh, there were uh, flowers and things like that. So I'm going to grab some different pinks as well. This one's called Peony, and then this one is called Damask, which I absolutely love, and Rosewater. So we'll have those. Um, yeah, I want it to kind of blend. So Kelly mentioned that um, she said that she doesn't know what kind of trees I'm putting these on. But uh, I could be, uh, they could blend too much. And that is a possibility that um, they might blend a little bit, but I kind of want them to blend a little bit. And then all of a sudden be like, oh, that's cool, a little fairy door. So I thought that's, that's kind of the vision I'm going for. Don't the companies know that crafters are very impatient? So yes, I agree. Things should dry faster. Yes, Rachel. I know. So if you guys ever watch me on my videos... Um, and I have like, I try to move things along because I am very impatient and I need to have things dry faster, be quicker. And that's what I discovered a lot of things that you should not do. So on my videos, I'm always giving tips and tricks of what you should not do. And how would I know? Because I did it. Um, okay. So I think the other one too is Woodwick. We'll use chocolate and Woodwick for um, the doors. I like that versus the black. Okay. Everett, I'm going to put all the greens together. These are some very, um, good greens. And so I want to know, has any of you or have any of you done this? Hey, Anne, thanks for joining. Have any of you um, done this yet? Uh, when I say done this, uh, cast it, uh, these little doors, and put them outside on your trees. So I'd love to know. Um, I think uh, I think it's going to be fun. All right. Okay, so this one is called, okay, so we have for the tree color, I'm using oakum, woodwick, 
I'm going to use a little bit of chocolate and I have Aliquin on there too. I'm just kind of going through my colors. And then we might need some of these creams. I don't think we're going to need any reds unless there's roses on there, which I don't think there are, but I don't know for sure. And the pinks. All right, so there are the pinks for the flowers here. Oh, Wellington is pretty too. It's got like a green to it. That's one of the molds I wanted to get my friend. Oh, Kelly wanted this mold and her friend talked her out of it. What? It is like one of the best molds. Okay. Um... This one's not, I think it needs to set up a little bit longer. I feel bad because I see that I have impatient people that keep dropping off, but that's okay. My regulars will stay with me, right? Right? Okay. All right. Um, let's see. Okay. So the very first one is I popped this one out. This is the morel mushroom from Toadstool. And I'm just trying, I wish I had some wire here. I was trying to think if I had any wire because actually I almost, it's soft enough still that I could probably poke it in the bottom. I'm looking, I'm looking you guys, I'm looking. I don't see anything. Oh, I'm so sad. Yeah, I don't have anything, but I wonder. Anyway, all right. Encourage you to buy more. <laughs> oh, friends don't talk friends out of molds. Friends should encourage you to buy more. Yes, I have not cast any, but I do have a fairy di di door metal that I put out on our outdoor fence. Uh, set it there like a shelf sitter. Oh, that's awesome. Did your buckets rust? Oh, yes. Yeah. So um, you missed that part, Anne. It, they sure did. My favorite is the white one. Here's the rusty metal buckets, if you guys missed that. Hey, Stephanie from Texas. I have only used the air dry clay with these molds. Looking forward to seeing how yours turn out for the garden. I adore these fairy doors and use them often. No, we decided on the bird's mold. Well, you're going to love the bird mold as well. And here is the other rusty buck. They're all three of them turned out pretty good. The first one with the very thin metal, I think I need to do something more to it. All right. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to um, paint these up right away. And then we're going to, um, I'm going to have to cast these uh, big ones. I'll cast more, but I think, should I, I probably should be casting them now. Oh my gosh. Those rusted really well. Yes, they did. They turned out awesome. Uh, Beth says, I have wanted this mold for so long and finally got it. Can't wait to see what you do with painting. I want to add to a large flower pot. That would be awesome as well. Putting it on a very large flower pot. I actually um, put one on an old teapot and I do have a video like how I did it. Because when you pop these out, um, with okay so I should say it's easier to do with the clay to actually mold it to whatever piece that you're doing um but if you want to use the resin you just when it's when you first pop it out it's really um pliable and you want to get it on there right away is how what I would recommend okay let's see so we're popping this one out. Oh, no, we're not. Not yet, I don't think. Maybe. So it's very pliable right now. But like this one, you guys, look at here. I'll bend. I'll tip it a little bit. There's a lot of glare. I wish you could see how much detail is on here. Okay. It's hard to see, I'm sure. I have a lot, I have very, very bright lights in here. All right, so this is the first one we're gonna paint and then we are going to paint up this one as well. The other one still needs to set up a little bit longer. So this one too might need to, yeah, that needs to set up just a hair. So let's start with this one 
and we'll go from there. Uh, Corrine said, I watched your latest video and initially thought that gorgeous table frame was metal and then you cleaned it and that wood came through. You did a beautiful job. Thank you. I love that table, you guys. Um, hey, Tanya, thanks for joining from Louisiana. Uh, it's okay. I've seen their pumpkins in the fall and it's super cute. I've seen those are pumpkins in the fall and those are super cute. I am making 12 in paint stir samples of all my paints and labeling all of them. Can you say organized? LOL. <laughs> Very good. I love it. Hey, Cheryl, uh, when it's hard, you can use a little drill bit to drill a hole for a wire. Oh, that's a good idea. And then I can glue. Oh, good idea. That is a great idea. So. Cheryl said, um, when this is hard, what if, because I want to add a wire to it. So we're going to paint them all up today. And then I can just take a little tiny drill bit, drill a hole and put a wire in there. And I'll just use like super glue and hold it in. Perfect. All right. Because I'm going to do that. And now I want to cast these other ones. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and do it. So this is third. Okay. What is this one? Where is this one? Um, well, that's three points. Oh, it's right here. Okay, that's 30. And then this one is over here. I can't. Oh, my gosh, you guys. I really need my readers. It, it stinks to get old. Uh, that one I can't see. Well, I'm going to guess. So if that is 30, I think it says 30. We'll say 20. We'll do 50. We're going to do 50, okay? All right. Um, oh, okay. That's a good idea. Let me try that. She said put my hand behind it. Can you guys see it better then? Or like I could hold it against this? Would, is that better? I wish I had. Oh, I bet I this. I bet I could. This would work. Does that work, guys? Um, and then Amanda says, "Oh, apparently you can reheat these and bend it a little according to Google." That is true as well. Um, but they become brittle after. But it's like right now, if I wanted to like mold it to a tree, I could definitely do that. And I might just add a little bend um, just in case. So, oh, come closer. <laughs> come closer. Let's see. Here, I'll, oh, there. That's good. There, I've, I came closer. Oh, wrong way. What do you guys think? Look at all that detail. All right. So I did go a lot closer. I learned something today. Um, Roxanne said she uses the, she used these molds and put the door and mushroom on a wood book stack. Ooh, that's awesome. Okay. I want to get these two molded or actually I'm going to probably do 80. And then um, once those are going, then let's start painting. All right. Are you guys um, excited about Royce's paper? You guys should be because honestly, it is awesome. Um, the new papers, you guys, I cannot wait to get my hands on it. Hey, Nancy, thanks for joining. Okay, so we're going to, I think it's 80 right there. All right. Let me grab this. And then as soon as I cast these, then we can get going. I keep saying that, but I'm like kind of feel very undecided today. <sighs> Susan says she can't wait to see the new papers. You guys are going to love them. She does such a great job coming up with these designs.
All right. Okay. Let me put that there. All right. I'm going to cast these. Got to add a little bit more for this one. Okay, that looks good. Let me add this one. All right. And we'll do, well, it looks like. And then I want to get this other big one. Oh, shoot. That I kind of overflowed. I have enough for another one, so I'm going to do this one. And we'll do one more of these. All right, and then I have leftover, so let's see if I can get the leftover in this one. I'm going to scrape it out. Get as much out of here as possible. Okay. Perfect. All right. All right. Those are then going to set up, and then we're going to start painting, and then these should be ready in no time here. Um, I Oh, my gosh. Kelly. <laughs> oh my oh my gosh Amanda says she spent 250 last week on the Dixie Bell paint but it was half off so I felt like I had to wow Helga good morning from Alberta Canada thanks for joining awesome okay I'm going to show you guys these other two and that way you guys can see all the beautiful detail on these as well. Here's this one. What a great idea. I love this. Take something black and then hold it really close to the camera so you guys can see it. I like it. I like it. All right. Let's go ahead and then start painting. So what I have here so far is one of the little toadstools and then these doors. So my vision is I want to put these on some trees. So I am going to start with, um, I have some different paintbrushes. I grabbed them. And let's um, see here. So I just have some different size paintbrushes and we're going to start with a darker color. I think like the, I actually really like Woodwick. All right, I'm gonna sit down and do this, guys. I've been uh, slightly exhausted from, well, maybe I won't sit down. I can't sit down, I can never sit down. So I'm gonna start and I'm just gonna paint, um, like this one has a tree on it or like, a, or branches. So I wanna paint those and, I might even put a little gold wax on here from like the IOD wax. So um, in my latest video that uh, you guys were talking about, one thing that I wanna let you know is that you can definitely intermingle some different um, products that I offer. So like the DIY wax can be used over the fusion. So don't, um, don't think you can't do that. All right. I love that these are like paintable. And okay. And actually, I'm going to start off, I'm actually going to paint the whole thing brown, I think. Because the door is brown, but then I'm going to go back in and I'm going to add some other colors. This is a really good paintbrush to use. It's like a pointed tip one to get into all that detail of 
these beautiful molds. I tried the oil wax on fusion and it did not work. It probably didn't work um, because uh, it probably the top coat, I'm assuming propel or repelled, propelled, repelled, um, uh, probably repelled the, the, um, the oil is what I'm assuming, but I don't know for sure. I'm only guessing. You might also, how long did you leave it on Kelly? Because that's another thing. Maybe you needed to leave it on, like almost leave a, a layer of it on versus um, wiping it off right away or wiping it off. Um, like almost as like maybe, I don't know how what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say like leave it on and as a layer kind of. Or let it dry a little bit and then wipe off a little bit of the excess. Oh gosh, I love this, guys. This is looking so good. Okay, so that's, I like how I am creating this. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to add some other colors in here. So it's starting off with a really good base. And then I'll show you guys as soon as it dries. Maybe I can... So I'm really liking how that's turning out. And then I'll let this dry and then we're going to start the next one as that's drying. So we're trying to keep it moving. Hey, Shelly, she says, hey everyone, finally off of a work call. Happy, happy, oh, happy to join the fun. All right, so the other thing too, um, it's good to turn your molds like every which way because there's so much detail and you have to get into a lot of the nooks and crannies. So just so you know. All right, I'm gonna set this over here and finish this up and then we'll go to the next one. Oh, that's so good. That looks so good. I love it, guys. Okay. All right. I am going to grab a little Ziploc and pop this in here. Um, Amanda said she saw some videos using hot glue in the molds. I have not done it. I have also seen people do that. So I'm not sure how that actually turns out. Um, okay. Actually, I think... Uh, Tanya says, I just painted my DIY water lily color on a paint stick. It's beautiful. Oh, I know. I love it. I'm going to actually paint this door the same color. All right. There. Oh, this was looking good too. I'm actually really excited. Um, so Connie from the Painted Photographer came to my uh, the membership group. Well, she's actually part of our membership group, but she actually taught us how to paint a bunny. And I have to show you guys. And so I am going to use, like kind of on these flowers, I'm going to use her technique. Now, where did I put my bunny? Over here. So you see how cute those little... Um, flowers are, that's what we're going to do. The same kind of technique on here to paint those flowers. So um, super easy um, because I don't know how to paint flowers. So a great way to, to do it. Okay. Actually, So what we're doing is I'm going in, I'm painting the door on this first. We're going to let that dry. And then we're going to come back and we are going to start the flowers. 
I just wanted to dry the brown to dry just a tad. Okay, that looks good. So here is the door. I have the door painted, so we're letting that dry. And I'm going to paint the door on this one as well. Oh, so who said that? I have never worked with resin. Let's see. Roxanne, I have never worked with resin. Um, and then she asked about the hot glue. Yes, and I have seen um, people use that, you know, hot glue in it. Or I've, I guess I've heard about it. <laughs> um, okay. And then we're gonna, when this is dry, then like I said, we're gonna come back and I'm gonna play, paint the flowers on this one too. And I'm also gonna paint um, the brick. I'm gonna paint it maybe like a gray. I think that'll look good. What do you guys think about Facebook going down yesterday? How many of you thought you were getting hacked? Like my mom. She literally called me and she was like, like, what is going on? I just got kicked out. Oh my gosh. And I said, well, let's take a peek. And then I went into mine and I got kicked out because I said, oh, you probably opened something you shouldn't have opened. Okay. All right, let me just look to make sure that looks good. Okay, that looks really good, guys. So we painted the door um, and it does not have to be like 100% perfect because then we're gonna go in and we're gonna blend in some other colors. All right. Oh, Shelly goes, ha ha, I didn't even know there was an issue. Didn't go on Facebook until later that afternoon. Well, it made headlines, you guys. Um, yeah, people like were freaking out because a lot of times when stuff like that happens, it does mean you're hacked. So, oh, all right. For this one, I think I'm going to add a little green to the base down here. I am thinking, okay, we're going to add a little bit of, this is called lichen. And this is like, I really am liking this color. And it kind of reminds me of like a moss. So we're going to add, I'm going to add a little bit of that down there. on the bottom and I want to add a little bit of that like on the trees to make it look like a little bit of moss here and there. It kind of reminds me of like a I'm not saying a dead tree, but you know, kind of. All right, that looks good. And I'm just going to add, and don't forget your sides too, you know, like the very edges. You can have some detail over there too. I think sometimes people forget about the edges there. Let me spin this around. And I kind of am just feathering it on a little bit here and there. Not too much, but just enough. And I'm going to, I don't know if you guys can see where I added it. And then I'm going to go in, I wish I had water or like a little, oh, actually I do. Never mind. I do. I do. Or I can get water, I should say. Uh, 
Uh, let's see here. It happened on the live with the goat. <laughs> with the goat. Lucky I was on. Uh, P oh, oh, you were on that TV. No problem then. Your mom's booth was featured. Really? She didn't even tell me. I bet you she didn't even know. <laughs> That's awesome. I like it. I didn't know either. Hey, Joan. She said, jumping on late. I liked you on Facebook, but I'm going to switch to YouTube. I'll see you over there. All right. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is I want to take... And actually just use it out of this big one. I'm going to take, and I'm going to take like a real fine tip. And we're going to add some detail here. So this is like the fun part, guys. Like you get to add, um, you know, with all the detail on here, you can like really have a lot of fun with this. I'm going to add a little black and then I'm going to go in and I want to add just a little tiny bit of gray then with it. Okay, so there's a lot of really fun, amazing detail on these. Okay. And I'm just going to go all the way around the door. I should actually have my other camera. Sorry, I wasn't. I was kind of like flying by the seat of my pants, if that's the same. I knew what I wanted to do today, but then... All of a sudden, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to place my order at the same time that I have to place my Roy Cycled Decoupage order. And I want it to be one of the first ones in case something were to happen, like they didn't have enough inventory or something. Uh, Barbara says, I just got on. Love using these molds. I know. Aren't they just so fun? They are so much, so much fun. Okay, so now I'm just gonna lightly go over. There's like um, these hinges here, and that's what I'm lightly going over with these, this like fine tipped paintbrush. All right, and then I'm going to go over the little doorknob and perfect. Okay. All right, so this is what we have so far. I think we should go in with a little bit of gray. I'm like, where did my... Okay, so let's go in with just a tad bit of gray on here. Okay, where is gray? Let's see. We're gonna do a little lamb, guys. A little lamb. This one is a good color too. I like this. Okay. And again, with this um, paintbrush, and then I'm gonna just add a little bit of Just on the cross, like the cross beams here. And then I want to add, after I do that, then I'm going to add a little bit more green. Let's see here. What brand of paint are you using? I am using Fusion. And I'm using the Fusion because it has the built-in top coat. Um, and I wanted it to dry really fast. And I am going to be putting this outside. And I think DIY Paint 2 would hold up, hold up just fine outside too. But that's why I'm using it. Plus I use DIY Paint all the time. And it's always good to experiment with other paints too. 
Did you guys hear the news? DIY is um, adding or um, the cottage colors. There's going to be six more colors. So that's exciting, huh? I'll be putting out a special video for you guys. Okay, so here is where I probably should really have my readers on. <laughs> oh. Okay, so we added the gray. I'm going to just show you what that looks like then. Oh, it's kind of hard to see, but okay. Does the fusion top coat hold up outside? Yes, it does. It definitely does. Great win. Um, she is announcing or she is making the announcement on March 28th. And that's when my video will be all set as well on March 28th too. So... Are they available to purchase? Mm, uh, okay, so are these sample sizes? Yes, these are called testers and they're on my website. So yes, they are available to purchase. They're perfect for, um, especially if you, and okay, so they're perfect for a couple of things. Um, especially if you wanna test out a color, they're perfect for that. But then they're also perfect for just a small little project because these go quite a ways. They are 1.25 ounces, but honestly, I complete so many projects with these. All right, I want to add a little bit of a brighter green. I'm trying to think what color I want. Let's see. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add a couple different greens. So I am going to start with, this color is called Conservatory. And I'm going to just add a little bit of the Conservatory just here and there to add um, a little dimension to it. And then I'm going to add, because we started with Lichen, then I'm going to add another color beyond that. And then I'm just going to um, drop a little bit of the conservatory here and there too. Kind of by the lichen, because you know moss is not all the same color. There's multiple colors in the moss. So that's kind of what I'm going for, the mossy look on here. Okay, that's looking really good. I like it. I should probably add a little bit of moss to the door too, right? Okay, I like that. Now we're gonna go in, I wanna do just a tad, just a little darker. So I am thinking either Everett or Bayberry. Okay, that's carriage. I have Bayberry here. Good Lord. What did I do with it? Um, I'm thinking uh, Bayberry. Um, let's see here. Joan. Okay. I think we have a spammer on here. Let's see here, black user. All right, we, let, hold on guys. I just wanna block that, can't ban a chat owner. Oh, oh God, okay. So I hope I blocked that person. Oh yeah, okay, good. Sorry guys, we had a little bit of a spammer on here. I never had that before. That's interesting. Uh, man, they wanted to ask you guys some stuff. Fun, huh? Hey, Sheila. Okay, so this is Bayberry. This is a bit darker. Let's see. Oh, well, guess what? Bayberry is empty. Oh, well, I guess we're not going to use Bayberry. I use this um, for a really big project. So instead of Bayberry, we are going to go with Everett. 
All right. Well, I've heard it's not green enough. So, all right. We're going to go with man or green. I want some green. I want a pop. All right. So here is like the green color. All right. Let's go in with a little bit of that. And then I think this is kind of almost done. Or what do you guys think? Do you think I need to add something else to this door? I, I feel like it looks really good. I, I really like it. Although I, I'm kind of sad because I really wanted to use that bayberry, but I kind of like this too. Kind of like when you have an idea in your head and then it doesn't work out. <laughs> All right. Wait till you guys see my my video that I'm putting out for um for IOD. I started this project. Oh my gosh, guys! Oh, and it was. It, it had some, it had some turns. Let's just put it that way. It had some turns. <laughs> it, you know, like when a project is, is not going the way you want it to go. And then I just had to keep going with it. I felt like, because I just felt like it was necessary to just keep rolling with it. All right, I just wanted to make it look kind of like mossy on here. Just a little moss here and there. There. All right, that looks good. I think I want to do one last touch and then I think it's going to be good after that. I want to just add a little bit of black to this part of the door. Um, I used that door and mushrooms on a watering can. It was so cute. Oh, wrong color. Oh, I used this one all up too. Guys, I must have had some really favorite colors. Oh, Kelly, my sister and I were fighting over it. Oh, oh. Where did I put the black, you guys? Oh my lord. Oh, I th did I use the big one? I must have used the big one, right? Right. Okay, I'm going to show you what it looks like right after I get done doing this. I wonder if I should use the small brush for this. Probably, right? Yes. The small brush is very tiny and it lets me get into some of this detail. All right, there, I like it. Okay, I think we're done with one. Other than, do you think I should do something else to it? There, there's like a, I like it though. I think it's cute. Okay, there. Do you think I should add any flowers down here? Or do you think I should just roll with like the colors? Or do you think I should add some different browns? to the door. Okay. You know you've made it when they start spamming you. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're right. I was like, all of a sudden I look up you guys and I'm like, who in the heck wants to talk to some of these people? Oh, can you put a tiny bit of water in the almost empty paint to stretch it? Um, actually, I forgot. It's like totally empty. It's like, it's like totally empty. <laughs> so I used every little last ounce of that paint. Um, and same with the Bayberry. I think I must have kept them because I thought, oh, if I ever need to have like a project where I, um, 
I have a lot of, I have water in here, or the, there must be a lot of water in there. But like if I had a project where I could dump a little bit into the testers um, to, you know, versus leaving like a big one like this wide open, I think that's why I kept it. I probably should have just tossed it and opened another one, right? Hello, been watching you since the beginning today on my TV, but didn't have my phone to comment. Oh, hello, Debbie. Thanks for joining. All right. So Shelly says she likes it. Oh, you said it had some turns. I thought you said it had some turns. LOL. <laughs> no, it had some turns, you guys. I And I thought I could start over. Um, but I thought, no, this is great. This is going to be really good for a video because it's going to showcase, you know, what you have. Sometimes you have to embrace the imperfections or have, you know, you have to come up with a different solution for a problem that might arise during a project because every project is not perfect. And, um, when you guys are watching on an edited video, a lot of times I think creators just show you everything as perfect. And sometimes I just kind of show you guys the real life experience. So that's what you guys are getting on that video. Hey, Marley. Thanks for joining. Okay, so we got one done. I made a huge mess. I love it. I think this one is perfect. I almost feel like the gray on the door needs something, though. It needs some detail. That's why I was like, should I add something else? I'm trying to see. Um, I feel like, I think it's just too stark. Everything else is kind of blendy, and I think that is too stark. Um, what do you think? What do you think, guys? I wish. Okay, so this is Hazelwood. Let's try a little Hazelwood. Oh, boy. Oh, <laughs> guys. I would never say that on a live, I hope. All right. So we're using a little hazelwood and I'm just going to add um, a little bit of dimension to this door. Just to give it something. Because I feel like it's Just a little bit too perfect. So, okay, I like that a lot better. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm really loving this brush, you guys. All right, I just have to add a little bit to this part of the door here. Ooh. There, I really like it. I think it just adds a little something something to it. So it's not, okay, I'm trying to get it straight. So it's not as like harsh. I like it a lot. I think it looks so good. Okay, door one done. Sonnet, I want to thank you for the sweet comment on my jewelry box. Oh, yes. That's great. Your jewelry box is so beautiful. You must have spent tons of time on it. I love it. I know. I try to get out to um, my group page as often as I can, but you guys, it's hard sometimes. Make a glaze and bring out some of the details, but you're among friends. <laughs> All right, let's do, I want to do this one. So I think we're going to add some, or we can do this one. This one will be good. We're going to add some gray to the border first. And I'm really liking that one I was just using, which was Hazelwood. What did I do with it? Where did I put Hazelwood? Okay, there's Sterling. Oh, it's right here. Oh, no, that's Little Lamb. There's so many fun colors, you guys. What? Did, where did I set it, you guys? Okay, there's Pebble. There's 
cobblestone. I want to use that hazelwood I just used. Oh, is this it? No, that's eucalyptus. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, it's right here. How did I get way over there? I thought it was hazelwood I used. Or, I don't know. I, I honest to God, need... I need to be wearing my glasses all the time. <laughs> That's the problem. I feel like I need to use my glasses all the time now. All right. I wanted to use the same color. I think hazelwood is too dark. What did I say it was? Okay. Oh, April says she's kind of late. That's okay. Catch me up on what you're doing. Did the ice cream buckets rust? Yes, but I will show you guys, for those of you that are hopping on late, I did show, but the ice cream buckets rusted, you guys. It was like Christmas morning. So if you are just jumping on now, they were this like color, and now they're like that. Yes, super awesome. And they all look good. Hello, Beverly. Yes, better late than never is right. It's been a year since I got to meet you in person, Sonnet. What a wonderful way to celebrate my birthday. Oh, your birthday's coming up again. Awesome. So when was that that we, we met? I'm just trying to think what color I used. That it was a, a total year ago. Oh, Marley says, oh my God. Or Marley says, oh my gosh, they are awesome. Yes, I agree. I think those turned out so good. The ice cream buckets. Um, I almost want to keep the white one. The white one is definitely my favorite, you guys. So I still need to do a little bit to um, the, light, the first one we painted, the big blue one, but it will be fine. Okay. So on this, I'm just going to add some gray to the brick. We're going to start there. We're going to just do some gray brick first. Let's do that. All right. Okay. And I'm going to add a little bit of gray on the inside here too. I should probably, next time I do something like this, we are for sure going to have the downward facing camera. So you guys can watch me paint. We're not watching just me. I mean, I'm sure you guys just love watching me, right? But, you know. All right. We're going to add a little bit of gray here for the, this, the stoop. And I love how just adding like some of these out, like this color, just, it really does bring out the detail. And yes, you can, we could definitely be adding wax. I could add some wax to that to bring out some more of that detail in there as well. So that might be something that we can add. I wouldn't mind adding like the dark wax. And then um, all the way around, I'm gonna just do the gray. Okay. That's looking really good. Already, it's, it's now coming together. All right, so we're gonna let that dry. Let me rinse this out. Oh, that's so awesome. I am late too. I have it all. Your door, the bucket. I am such a fan. I love it all. Oh, your door, the bucket. <laughs> oh, thank you, Tanya. Uh, Susan says March 9th. Oh my gosh, it was March 9th? Yeah. So if you guys are ever in the area and you decide you want to swing by the goat, I live very, very close to the goat. So um, yeah, so Susan mentioned she was going to be here and we communicated back and forth and then I ran over there. So, oh my gosh, <laughs> Lynn, this is a good comment. This is a good comment. I, oh, my mouse fell asleep. Uh, my work area looks like yours. It makes me feel so much better. I can't seem to work without everything all around me. I know if you get, if you've been watching, I am like missing colors because I have 
Um, oh, April says I would definitely have to wear cheaters. Yes, I have. I should have them on you guys. Um, are those going on your door? No, these are actually going on my, in my garden. So I am going to put these in my garden. Um, I'm super excited about it. I think these will look so stinking cute in the garden. And I think I am going to add just a little, maybe dark wax to it, but that might be kind of fun just to add, to bring out a lot of the details of it. So as soon as we're done with this, Oh, we still have plenty of time. We're going to paint these two up. And as soon as we're done with these, then we're going to go back and I'll add some dark wax to it to really bring out that detail. And we'll take a look to see how that's looking. So um, Beverly said the rust turned out great. I know. Um, let's see here. So fun. How will you weather, how will you weather them? Actually, according to Fusion, their paint will hold up outdoors without sealing them. So I, because of the sealer. So we'll see, we'll see. So I'm going to add a bit of green. I'm going to add Everett for this door. Let's see. Okay. Let's just add a little bit of green here. So there's some plants down here you can see. So I'm just adding a bit of green to those plants. And then I'm gonna add just um, a little bit of green here and there through the whole thing. I'm just gonna lightly, almost like brush it on because there's a lot of leaves. Okay, and I'll show you guys in just a second what I'm referring to. But by dry brushing, you can really bring out that, all that detail of those leaves. Okay. All right, that's looking good. I like it. And then we're going to go back in and we're going to add some other colors to it. So let's see here. And then I'll show you in just a sec when I get done kind of like, well, like I said, like dry brushing it on. And then after we dry brush, I want to add, I think we're going to add some pinks in here. And um, so I'm thinking pink. Yellow, maybe. I think some yellows would look really good. All right. And okay. I'm just trying to see here where the, <laughs> I'm trying to see where all the leaves are because there's some that, that goes on to the door, you guys. So goes on to the door here. And Okay, that's looking good. I like it. Yep, I'm loving so far how this is turning out. I think I just need to add a little bit more green over here. Now that I've been, you know how you start off, you're kind of like, I wouldn't say I was scared, but I was trying to be not adding as much paint as I probably could have been adding. So that's what I did is I am like, I started off lighter so you can always add. And then that's exactly what I'm doing here. Oh, this is so pretty, you guys. I'm really liking it. Okay. 
All right. So what colors do you think we should do for flowers? Yellow, pinks, kind of like the bunny that I was so inspired by that bunny. The bunny is going on my door, you guys. So just so you guys know. Um, and my friend Kristen, she gave me an idea of how I can put stuff or attach stuff to the doors. I'm going to use little clips, those little, um, cause I was thinking, how am I going to replace some of it? Okay. All right. Let's, I'm going to show you what we got going on so far. Um, we're going to just set that down. Oh, did I freeze? I froze. Oh, oh, okay. I froze for a sec, I think. Oh, good Lord. Good Lord. Okay, there. So we added um, that. Okay. So I'm going to rinse that. I'm going to just read a couple of the comments just because I feel like I have been looking down. Um, Roxanne wants to know if anybody has used outdoor Mod Podge to seal. Uh, Joanne says, I find that when I am painting fine details, I double my work because I get paint everywhere and I have to keep fixing it. Am I alone in this? No. That's how I kind of felt. Like I was going to start off lighter and then add. Jealous of those crafters who say today we are going to make these and lay out the right amount of supplies they need. I'm not that organized. Are those sample? Um, these are called testers. So... Fusion has two sizes. They have the tester and then they have, um, I'm trying to think if this is called the pint or the, I think it's the pint, I, I think is what it's called. So there's two different sizes. Um, these are perfect for, um, especially if you want to test a new color and see how you like it. They're very inexpensive and um, yeah, they're, they're really good to have. Uh, I haven't used the outdoor Mod Podge, but it might yellow like the regular Mod Podge. Okay not frozen for me. I don't know why my computer froze or I was like looking to make sure I was straight and I like, I glitched. Um, okay. So everybody's liking it. All right. So now let's add some flowers. Okay. I am going to use elderberry. I'm going to think I'm going to use elderberry. Yep. Elderberry I'm going to use, and I am going to use some of, I really like this color. It's called Prairie Sunset. We're going to use a little bit of that. And then we're going to use, I think I'm going to go in with more of like a pink, this pink. It's called Peony. All right. Kind of just going to roll. I'm going to do the Peony first. So, and how I'm going to do it is I'm just going to add Kind of like, like how roses would be, you know, like every so often. And... So you can see like I'm just adding a little pop of the this pink and then we're going to like I said we're just going to add like a rose would be like randomly like all over and then we're going to add and that that uh, elderberry just to give it some little dimension and then we're going to add a little yellow. Because you know there's always a, some yellow in flowers too. And I learned this all from the painted photographer <laughs> when I did my um, flowers the other day. She is so good. Okay, I'm liking that. I think we need to add a little bit more here and then one more right there and possibly one right there. Okay, I'm gonna rinse that off. 
And then now we're going to just add a little bit of the elderberry, just a tad of elderberry and then a tad of the yellow. Um, Having a hard time seeing, guys. I really should have, like I said to you earlier, I probably should have had my readers on. But that's okay. All right, so we're just adding a little bit of that. I just want to... And then I'm going to show you. So I don't know if... You guys can see the little burgundy, how I'm touching it up uh, around it. And it's just adding in just a little bit of dimension. And I'm just doing a little bit on the edges. Okay. And I'm going to do that all over. All of them. That's looking good. Oh, I like it a lot. I wish, wish I had a, oh, I smeared that one a little bit because I didn't realize I had put that there. I wish I had a paint palette. That's what I need, a paint palette. My gosh, you'd think I'd be considering myself an artist if I had a paint palette. Okay, let me, I'm almost done and then we'll, I'll show you guys and then we can move on to the yellow. Okay. All right. I think I got every single one of them. So that's what it looked like with the little bit of um, the darker pink. So what we used is we started off with peony. We just added a dab of peony. Then we went in with elderberry added a little dab of the elderberry and now we're going to go in with the prairie sunset and we are just going to add like a little pop so it's not going to be like oh look at that it's not going to be super you are an artist every crafter is yes absolutely um let's see here oh we will need photos of those on your trees, you know, since you have so much spare time. <laughs> yes, I do. Um, actually, I think I'm going to bring you guys, well, if I can get signal back there, I think I might bring you guys along for it. Oh, see, Ruth goes, will you take us into your garden? Yes, I'm thinking about doing that. I definitely want to bring, um, uh, I definitely want to add more of my garden into my, my page. So all right, let me just add a little bit here. I'm just going to, I'm adding just a tiny little dot here and there. And all right. Okay, that looks good. I actually have to add a little bit of green there.
Oh my gosh, Connie would be so, I think she'd be impressed. She might be impressed with me. <laughs> I'm impressed with me. Okay, so we added just a tad bit of yellow, you guys. It's kind of hard to see, but it just like, um, typically the center of a rose has a little bit of yellow and then some of them are like um, either bicolored or tricolored. So that's kind of what we did. And actually, these kind of remind me of, I don't know, they're just so pretty. I love it. So now I'm going to go in and I'm going to add a little bit of dimension to the green. And what we're going to do for that is I just want to add a little bit, just another color of green. And I'm trying to see here. I think we're going to go in with, uh, let's try cobblestone. Oh my gosh. Shelly goes, watching you craft makes me want to craft. Work gets in the way. Oh yeah. I remember those days of work getting in the way. Yes, and I'm just going to add a little bit of the cobblestone like here, here and there. Just to add a little bit of, you know, dimension with the color. And uh, okay, that's looking really good. I like it a lot. It's um, definitely because there's like the darker undertone, and then this is kind of just I'm just kind of um, dry brushing this over all those dark colors, so it's just giving it a little bit more dimension and making it look like it's a real plant versus, you know, okay. All right. Oh, that's looking so good. Oh, you guys, you guys have to try this. So fun. I'm gonna just put that in all in there. Uh, all right. Oh, that's looking good. Okay, we're almost done with this one and then we'll go to the other one. And I just wanna add a little bit here and there on this side to make it all kind of be cohesive so that it's not just on one side that we have this conservatory. I think that's what I used, right? Or no. I did not use conservatory. I used carriage house. So you, oh, it, lo it looks so good. Okay. Um, all right. So we have, we added a little bit of dimension to the green. So that's looking good. Uh, I'm watching you while working. One of the benefits of working from home. <laughs> yes, I love it too. That's awesome. Um, as a master gardener, we could learn so much from you doing with, with all the crafting and flipping techniques. Yes. Okay, I am going to add just a little bit of something something to the brick. I'm going to go in with hazelwood. And... I'm just going to add... So this brick has a line and I'm just gonna, or it's got like, I'm just going in on each of those lines and I'm taking this fine um, paintbrush and I'm just drawing, a, I'm following that line. I'm just adding a little color to each of the lines to make it look like, and it's awfully hard as I'm holding it, but I'm trying to show you guys. So just going in just to add a little bit of um, 
different color to that. Okay. Oop. All right. That looks so good too. I love how just mixing the colors like this or just adding a little bit of different color just makes it look so odd, like just like it's a real brick. We're gonna do the same down here and right there. I can probably do it on the sides as well. I doubt somebody is actually going to look at my tree that close. Oh my gosh, you guys. Now I'm on, I'm on two cameras. <laughs> I do not know why it sometimes does that. And yes, I do have a greenhouse. So that is one space, you guys. I talked about earlier in the year about reclaiming my space of my greenhouse. It has become a storage unit. Um, actually, Ann Elias, she was uh, in charge of, um, the, well, I don't know if she was in charge, but she helped out with the garden walks that they used to conduct in Appleton. And it was for the homeless shelter. And my garden was featured two times on the garden walk. And the second time in my greenhouse, I um, created this huge compass on the floor, all out of little glass pebbles. It turned out, it did turn out really good. I loved it. So, thank God she had a picture of it because guess what? I haven't seen it in a while because my floor is, I haven't been able to get to it because it's, uh, unfortunately, yeah, I like this. I think we're done. We are officially done with this one. This turned out so good. So, all right. Can you blend fusion paints to mix colors? Um, I have not attempted to try it yet, but yes, um, from what I hear, you can. I think this is my favorite so far. I mean, I like this one. Maybe I should add some flowers down here. Maybe I think it needs flowers. I think I'm going to add some. I mean, who's to say it can't have flowers, right? I'm going to just, um, we're going to add some, we're going to add some red roses to this one. What the heck? I'm rolling with it. We're using, so we used elderberry on that one. We're going to use Winchester on this one. Um, Anne says, I miss the garden walks and picking out the gardens was so fun. I know. I can't remember. I just remember, I don't remember who, what her name was. She actually was the one that approached me and she said, um, would you be on the garden walk? And I was like, oh my gosh, yes. I would love to be on the garden walk. And she was so super nice. It was an older lady. And I, I had so much fun being on the garden walk. And I got a lot done because I work very, very well under pressure, you guys. Or deadlines. I should say deadlines, not really pressure. Well, there was pressure too, but deadlines. So, all right. I am just going to... All right, so I'm just going to add a little bit just around here. We're going to make these look like flowers too. All right. I think it just needs a little something, something. Okay. Um. And says, I did too. My garden never looked so good that year. Oh gosh, my garden too. Um, okay, I'm going to add a little bit of rose water. Yeah, my.
going to just add a little bit of Okay, and I'm just gonna, I'm almost like blending them together a hair. Oh, that looks so good too. All right. Okay, I just added a few. So now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of green or yellow. Green. Yellow. Let's see here. Uh, easy to become storage. I love my greenhouse, but it collects the pool items. Yes. It just, um, well, I kind of talk, I used to have a storefront in downtown Appleton. And so then when our storefront closed, I had to put all my items somewhere and that's where they went. <laughs> A lot of the stuff went into the greenhouse. So, because we closed on December 31st. So, I had to have something. All right. So, we added a bit of roses. Oh, okay. I don't know if you can see. Oh, wrong way. Just a little bit of color. I like that. I think it just, it, brightened that all up and I only did it on one side like the they were cl the climbing rose was going up the one side okay so now we're gonna do this one and then we have we are gonna finish this in about 15 minutes guys so hopefully I can get her done all right we are gonna start off with the um sterling again for our we can go with cobblestone. We'll go with cobblestone. All right. Those look so good. Oh my gosh, you guys. I am so excited to get them outside. I love, we got to finish it because sometimes, as you can tell, I haven't finished these doors and they need to go in my booth like soon. They're going to go into my Water Street Vintage booth. But I felt like it was taking so long on my live and I didn't want to like hold you guys hostage. Like force you to watch me paint some doors. I wanted to show you guys that technique. Um, but yeah, I definitely want to get my, those in my Water Street Vintage booth. I'm going to bring you guys along for that um, during my videos because that's going to be quite the undertaking. I have a, a lot of good stuff or I have some good ideas for that booth. All right. Perfect. Okay. So I painted the brick with sterling. And then we're going to go back now and we are going to add the green like we did with the other one. So that will be good. Loving the doors. Look, thank you. Thank you. I know I should have had the downward um, camera, guys. I apologize. I do. I apologize because I think um, it would have been really good for you guys to see the downward look. All right, I'm going to use Bellwood. It's a different color green. And I'm just going to go in and I'm going to do the, all of it with the Bellwood. Then we're going to come back and I am going to dry brush on, where is it? Where did I put it? Okay, Everett. So, we're going to add a little bit of dimension with that. So that will be really good. 
it's kind of nice because with this, um, with these, I mean, you kind of want to get all the detail, but when you blend different colors, it hides any, it hides a lot of like mistakes or like if you are not in the lines is a good way to put it. <laughs> so, which makes it nice. And really, if these are going to be on like even a decor piece or like I'm going to be having them on the tree, I don't know if someone is going to go up and like with a magnifying glass and like really analyze that you got every in every little detail correctly. Right. Or are there going to be those people? <laughs> Probably. <sighs> But those people are not our people, right? All right. All right. So just checking to see if I'm missing any comments. I am not. So that's good. Yes, I hope this isn't. Uh, I hope this is a good project for you guys. I think that once I get them on my trees, um, they're going to look awesome. So the reason made me think of doing this is because, you know, the new IOD release is going to be happening like really, really soon. Um, that is number one. And number two, um, we are having just su such nice warm weather here in Wisconsin. And it's making me think like, I better get prepared for, getting into my blower gardens because I definitely want to do that. Okay, I'm going to show you guys. So we went in with the green, we have the gray, and now we're going to start layering it. Um, I am going to first start with the brick because the brick is dry. Okay, we're going to go in with, where did my, I'm going to go in with Hazelwood again. Hey, Terry. Hi, I'm late. When my niece, Kara, remodeled her lake home, aka Larry the Cable Guy, they gave me over a dozen complete sets of antique glass knots. I'm going to use them in my cabin. I love your door. Oh, well, thanks. Yeah, that, uh, I, I'm very excited that, you know, Lexi gave me that doorknob. Super sweet of her to think of me. All right, so again, I'm going in with a darker color and I'm just going to emphasize um, the brick, the lines on the brick. Like so. And I just touched something. And then that will bring out more of the detail of that. Make it look. It looks like here there's a little crack. I'm going to kind of go in like the little cracks even and add just a little bit of that dark color just to add a little depth. Oh, I'm like, why am I sticky? I keep touching that. Okay. I like it. I like it. Looking good. Perfect. Okay. We didn't get them to the mushrooms, so I didn't realize the doors were going to take this long. All right. That's stuck to me. Okay. So here we are. And then we added a little um, color to each of the crevices of those door or to the bricks. I'd like to see those people try and do this. <laughs> I know. Right. I know. Like the ones that are like, keep it moving, Sonic. Keep it moving. I'm like, I am trying to keep it moving. I really am, you guys. I got to like interact. It's not like I'm like a robot. I don't know. I kind of liked the, 
Okay, we're going to do it. We're going to go in with cranberry. We're going to go in with the cranberry. Oh, I like it. I think it's a pretty color. All right. Here in the Smokies, the spring flowers and flowering trees are coming out on, but been rainy. So my the very first thing that comes up in my garden are always my allium, and they are popping, guys. Or they are like, okay, the allium are not popping, but the actual leaves are popping up. So that's exciting. All right, and I'm just going to go in and just randomly place a bunch of roses here and there. Oh, the thought of summer though, you guys, oh my, heading back up to the cabin. That is going to be so awesome. I like have cabin withdrawals in the winter. All right, let's see here. So what is your, uh, everyone, what is your favorite spring flower? Do you guys have one? In the comments, let me know what your favorite spring flower is. I'm adding a lot more roses to this one. Um. I love alliums and I just think they're so beautiful. Uh, the one thing that makes me sad about spring flowers is that they don't last that long, you guys. So it's, it makes me sad. All right. I'm almost done. And then I'll show you um, the roses there. I like it. I like it. Okay. So we added the first coat of the roses. We just added cranberry all over. Now we're going to add the second layer. And I'm going to go in with damask. It's a little bit darker. I'm going to... Add just a tad, a little bit of the damask. Oh. oh, this is a little thick. Okay. This is the one that someone opened at my shop. So I'm gonna just All right, we're just adding a little bit to each one and I'm trying to concentrate. <laughs> trying to concentrate, guys. All right. Okay, let me add a little bit here to, I'm almost done. And then we're gonna add a little bit of red, uh, or not red, I'm sorry, yellow to each of the flowers. This one, um, like I said, I didn't realize when I went opened it that it was going to be um, somebody at my shop opened it and then I brought it home. So at my booth or whatever, they sometimes feel the need to open things, even though like they shouldn't. You would think that they would know better, but I, they don't. Oh, I like this. I like it. It's looking really good. 
All right. Let me add. I'm almost done with this. And Oh, that looks good. Oh, I probably need some more. Don't want to double dip. Don't want to double dip. Oh, I forgot to do that one and this one. Oh, I actually forgot a couple of these. That is... Okay, let me finish these and then we'll finish these down here. Okay. Oh, I like it. I like it. It looks good. I'm kind of sad about this damask though. It kind of dried up a hair because of that. But I'm going to show you guys. Um, let's see here. That looks really good. You're talking about spring and here I sit at my sewing machine embroidering a Christmas towel. Oh my goodness. Yes, I'm talking about spring. Susan gets a white and then a few other colors. That way you can change the look of them. Um, I just looked at the fusion colors on your website. I'm having a hard time deciding what colors I should pick for a decent assortment without breaking the bank. Um, yes, I would definitely go with a white. Um, and well, I've featured a couple of them that I really, really like, but you guys, I think, um, everybody's been really into like blues this year. I've noticed. So, okay. Now we're going to go in with yellow and then we are going to go, oh my gosh, it's 12 and I have a, a zoom call. Um, okay. Well, I'm going to have to wrap this up because I have to go on a Zoom call um, at noon. So I'm just going to touch this up and then I'm going to jump off and then jump onto my Zoom call here. All right. And I'm going to just show you this. And the last thing I'm going to do to it while I'm on my Zoom call is I'm going to just touch up the, um, the green and I am going to... Just give it a little dimension, and then I think this door will be done, you guys. So all of them will be done, and I will actually put a picture out on Facebook so you guys get to see what the finished product is. But here is what it looks like. Kind of hard to see, but I will definitely put a finished um, picture of each for you guys. Um, and so... Thank you so much for joining me today. It was uh, so, so fun. Uh, but we will be back. So today is Wednesday. Friday, we'll be back at Friday at 10 o'clock. And I think we're going to work on doing the mushrooms. And we're going to actually drill into them. I'm going to show it right on here. So we're just going to head on into this next step. Um, but you guys have yourselves a great day. And we will see you Friday. Bye.